Hello, with a sigh of relief from the weekend, this is Double A with another WWE Supercar video for the date of Monday, September the 9th. Long weekend of playing. Um, I'm sure if, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was like majorly concerned that I wouldn't be able to get the Bliss card. Because I knew I'd be doing plus twos somewhere along the line, which I had to. Um, my schedule over the weekend, typically I try to get everything done by Saturday, if possible. Because if I did have to do plus twos, then typically I could kind of like scatter them throughout the day. But I had things just get added to the schedule more and more to the fact that I thought I was going to be two plus seeing Roman instead of what actually happened. So let's take you for a trip. Um, get into the right now. There's a ring domination of it happening as we speak. But right now, as you can see, if you have a bigger screen, you'll see it. I'm at ultimate right now. That was not always the case. Um, I've added a bunch since since the event began, but pretty much for you. When I started this puppy out, I was somewhere around here. Um, Bliss hadn't been proed yet, and I was an elite. It was an elite plus plus. During the course of the event, I picked up a picked up an ultimate South Rock. Oh, he's in there already. Never mind. Anyhow, I picked up an ultimate Seth Rollins and basically using an elite plus plus deck was able to do plus sixes of Roman from um, I'd hit the plus 10 wall at the one point into Roman did six pluses throughout Roman all the way into bliss by about 20, 29 points. And then with Roman in the deck, pretty much was able to do plus twos all the way from there. And I have to tell you, for those of you, and I've seen a lot of you guys out there on, on Twitter do this, in terms of going for that bliss, doing plus twos, that gets kind of tedious after a while. It gets rather monotonous after a while because you are making your way someplace. Yeah, uh, you're just, you just, you know, just seems to take forever to get. It. And in my particular case, when you have things going on that your attention is required elsewhere, yeah, those points are become more and more frantic because you've already since you're in there. Myself, like I said, I thought I was only gonna be able to do pluses, plus twos of Roman. I was, it was going to be my road to Roman instead of road to Bliss because I thought I, that was going to happen. But due to the fact I was able to do without Roman, pretty much allowed me to commit myself to doing Bliss. But, but yeah, I already committed myself. It had to be done. When all was said and done, though, I managed to get a Pro Bliss. My first event Pro in season three took forever to as most of you are aware of, takes forever to pro to level up a diva because or level up a female star because most times they'll do just males and females just get left out i can say though that the two things that allowed me to get as far as i did in ring domination not ring domination but world to glory wasn't the top people, the top tier people, but what some perceive as the lower tier people. Darren Young, one of the lowest cards in the deck, turned some, basically made some things possible in turning wins into either ties or 7 5 victories. The MVP, though, of the entire event, in my opinion, 
the thing that I've seen differences between my deck and, like, for instance, deck and ultimate, it's her. This Summer Ray helped turn the tide in so many matches, in so many bouts, that I think my I think I would have definitely suffered had it not been for for the Summer Ray. And more I th it's like more I thought about it. When I got the when I got a pro big show. Someone said, hey, you're going to Silver Star it? I'm like, well, no, I'm still building on my deck. So I'm getting some power in it, but no, I'm not going to Silver I'm not going to Silver Star it. I mean, that's kind of like a thing nowadays with some people to say, oh, I Silver Star this. But you know, if Yu-Gi-Oh, you realize that one of the things that they stress is believing in the heart of the cards. Because if you believe in the heart of the cards, they would take you places... You never thought possible. In Yu-Gi-Oh, he believed in the heart of the cards, and he pretty much, while it took him a while to get his his God cards in play, he believed in things like the Karibo, for instance, or or his Dark Magician. He believed in the lower tiers, their ability to get him to where he needed to be, that it allowed him to succeed. He didn't take anything for granted. So... With this, even though, yeah, the higher tiers like Charlotte and Sasha Banks and things of that nature, I've I got a lot. I got further event with Summer Rae more than anything. Now myself, I typically have utilized Seth Rollins as my champ card. I've utilized Ultimate Warrior as my as my avatar in season one in season two for no not season two but in season one but you know from this point forward based on and i've already locked the card it's never going to get trained away no matter what happens or more in this place to me there's my mvp there's my definite champ for this now, that's what I got. Believing in the heart of the cards gets you a long way. So it doesn't matter where they're at point-wise. If you believe in them, things occur. So, so yeah, I completed Bliss. We had about an hour to spare. And that that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Right now, we have, like I said, we have a team ring domination going on. The main card is Dean Ambrose. I'm on a different team now other than Forever Smug. At least for the time being, I think. I'm not sure. But there are a good bunch of people that I'm with. And just lending a hand there. As, as, is, as it should be whenever you're in a Team, you should feel like you're lending a hand to the team and, and allowing them to get where they need to get. So, <sighs> guess I'm still exasperated after the weekend. But I think do I have anything in the mailbox? Um, I think I've read his before. Okay, so yeah, I want, just want to thank you for the shout out on Twitter. Really appreciate that. And got a thing from Ash and wanted to join my team. I'm not sure when this was sent. I'm not, whether, I'm not sure whether it was on Team Nom Now or our previous team of Forever Smug. But if you ever have and you see an opening available, jump on it. Because sometimes with some teams, those openings are few and far between. I think that is officially going to be it for me today. Um, I do have a video planned later in the week. I think Wednesday or so, I'm not sure. Uh, it will be kind of super card related, but for the most part, it's going to be just just a life lesson. So, 
officially. Once again, that's going to be it for me today. This is Double A with another WW Supercard saying see you next time. And so long from inside. Goodbye, everybody.